usually visit places like this antique shops weren't my usual place to shop as much as it was my grandparents when they were alive i'm not really sure why marie seemed so eager to go to one i didn't think of her as a type to want to visit these sort of places especially since she never once mentioned one before maybe she wanted to try something new for a change i mean i've known her since we were kids never wanted to take her as a type to go to antique shops of all places she was more into the cutesy things. She's been like this since kindergarten. People who walk in her room will be overwhelmed by how pink and cheerful it is in there. I'm sure it was the first time I went to her house. And that was six. I don't think I know anyone else with such a pink room and cheerful aroma. aroma. It really did reflect on her personality. She's always been the more outgoing and happy person. I like that about her. The only problem is that she isn't very cautious about her surroundings. When she was really close to giving her number to some old crib because he said he wanted to be her friend. Yeah. If I wasn't there, she would have probably been dead by now. But I think that's what made us such good friends. We're probably opposites. Yeah, we have a stronger bond than a married couple. Or so she likes to say. Not that I mind it. I love having... Okay. Hello, Eartha Charlie. Is something wrong? No, I'm alright, just thinking. You sure? Yep, I'm sure. If you say so. Did you find anything cool? Yeah, I did actually. I was trying to tell you, but you were spacing out, so... Ta-da! Isn't it cool? Necklace? Come on, Charlie, it's not just a necklace. This is super cool of you, Nicholas. I looked at her as if she was the stupidest person alive right now. Don't look at me like that. Come on, Charlie, look at it. She put the necklace in my face again. I said, go look at it, but something about it made me feel odd. So, what you think? Pretty cool, huh? Uh... Agree? See, I knew you'd like it. I guess so. I mean, I've never seen a necklace like this. Well, with this kind of pendant before. Do you think that it was custom made then? Probably. That's even cooler. I looked at the back of the pendant and there was something engraved on the back of it. But age surely hadn't done this thing any good since the letters were all weird looking. So what do you think? What do you mean? Should we buy it? What? You actually want that thing? She looked at me as if I was brain dead if I was a brain dead bird. No you idiot. Do you want it? And why would I want that? It will look super cool on you. How in the world would that thing look cute on me? I don't know, it just sort of fits your style. I gave it a thought. We'll see. There's multiple end endings, I don't know. A little small sigh before nodding a little. Fine, I'll buy it. Alright. Do you want me to pay? No way in hell. She gave me a little pop before we walked over to the old woman, running the place and paid the lady for the necklace. After buying the necklace, we ended up going to the cafe near the apartment building. So what you gonna order? Mm, I looked through the menu and decided to go with... <sighs> I hate ice, I hate iced coffee. Do a latte. I wanted the menu. She looked at me a little confused. So when do you like lattes? I shrugged the other question. So I tried since I've seen how much you enjoy them. Okie dokie. We could go in line and order our drinks. How about you go find us a seat? I ordered the drinks. I gave her a nod and walked over to our favorite spot. It took it for her about five minutes to arrive with the steaming lattes. Really a happy sigh. Doesn't it just smell amazing? It smells fine to me. 
She nudged my arm with hers. You're lame. At least we're laying together. You're right. Did Wait, what? She said I cut my shoulders. I started laughing. I'm not lame. You so are. Such a mean being. Lame. Can help her laugh again. Only for you. She had a small lab before sighing. Face faltered quickly and so did mine, so that knows the mood change. Nothing wrong? Do you honest, yeah. Do you want to talk about it? She shrugged. She didn't really seem like she wanted to say what was bothering her. I rather not burden you with it. Mom Marie, you know you're not a burden. She managed to smile a little even though I could tell she didn't feel like it. I'll tell you another time, okay? The sheriff is gonna leak no. I got a little surprised by her change in demeanor. Beside her was a rare sight. Not one I got to see often. Even if I'd known her for a god knows how long. Alright, if you're sure about that, just it gets to the point, tell me, okay? She hesitated for a while before nodding reluctantly. I heard myself tell you. Good. We sat in silence for a while, just enjoying the things we ordered before she said a small sigh. Her face faltered before she decided to talk again. Me and Anne haven't been doing great lately. I gave her a confused look with quickly averted it to a concerned one. So this, this was a problem? What was the problem? It was really unusual for them to get into a scuffle. Usually they were a very happy and lovely W couple. It's when they actually did get into an argument. It was for a damn good reason. Most of the time it was serious. To the point that they almost break up. Sorry to hear that, what happened? She has it for me before talking again. She's been a bit obsessive lately. He keeps thinking I'll leave him for some other guy or something. She sighed again before forcing a small smile. I knew she didn't want me to worry too much. But honestly, the smile wasn't helping to ease my worries. It was a little frustrating sometimes, you know? Feels like he doesn't trust me completely. I my hand on her shoulder. Yeah, I understand how that feels. She kept her gaze at her latte. And then now Grishana has creeped up. You ever tried talking to him about it? I have, but he just starts arguing with me. It's all just so confusing and she rubbed out of her face. Really fucking frustrating. I wrapped an arm around her waist and pulled her into an embrace. I'm sure everything will work out fine. He loves you after all, and you love him. I give her an enthusiastic smile. And love conquers all. I like to smile. I genuinely won this time. Yeah, you're right. I was happy to see that she was smiling again. I hate seeing her upset. Who likes seeing their friend upset anyway? Even if it was a, even if I was bad at company people. I was just happy that I managed to make her smile. We sat and talked for an hour or so before we noticed the sun was setting. Both didn't feel like walking home in the dark, so we finished up whatever we had left and went home. I followed Marie home just to make sure nothing bad happened to her. After I stirring, when she got home safely, I walked back home by myself. When I arrived back home, I instantly went to my dresser to find my PJs. I was super exhausted. I mean, social life really does take a toll on me sometimes. I put his necklace on my dresser before changing into my PJs and plopping down on my bed. All I could think about was getting some good night's nice rest before waking up, looking for an apartment so I could move out of my dad's house. After my dad was a nightmare to live with, it was more my stepmom I couldn't tolerate. She really was a living nightmare sometimes. With that thought, I slowly drift off to sleep. Okay. I looked to a bright light and a tense ringing in my ears. I rubbed my eyes to try and see anything, but it took me a few seconds to foot because of that stupid bright light. But something fell off. I guess since I wasn't alone. And when my eye finally adjusted to the darkness in my room, I could feel my body tensing up. 
I didn't know what to do. Trying to be asleep? Because he told my eyes and hopes to not bring any suspicion that I was awake. Who knows what would happen if he knew while I was awake. I pretended to be asleep for what felt like hours, but it was more like five seconds before I felt something poke my cheek. Hello, human. You dead? Wakey wakey, or else I'm just gonna assume you're dead, or one heck of a heavy sleeper. I flew with my eyes to find it towering over me. Alright, back off. It rolled its eyes and I took a step back. Well, it took. It took a step back. Better? I gave it a quick nod. Who are you and why are you here? I'm Malachar, but you can just call me Mal or I uh, yeah, am calling you Mal. Now, who are you, sweet? No, Charlie. It's a pretty name for such a beautiful girl. I picked the she, hers, hers option. But I like the name Charlie. I don't know. What are you even? Anything you want me to be? Seriously? Could this guy be any weirder? No, seriously, what are you? What do you think I am, sweet cheeks? How should I know? Here I was thinking you were smarter than that. I wrote my eyes before thinking. I would say you're some robber who loves Halloween too much. He tilted his head in confusion. And that's supposed to mean... Well, it's not every day you see a guy in your house wearing a Halloween costume in springtime. He shrugged. Fair point. Though this isn't a Halloween costume. That's your day-to-day -day clothes. The reason I rough suspiciously. Damn, it was weird if you wore that daily. It looked more like a Halloween costume, if anything. But at least he was, had the confidence to wear that. But well, since your day-to-day -day clothes, then you must be a pretty easy criminal to find. You're still on that robber idea? I'm not trying to burst your bubble or anything, but I'm far from a robber. I'm a demon. I thought that was rather obvious. Other than him clearly not believing it. I'm not sure you are. No, seriously, I'm a demon. Well, if you're a demon, then I must be dreaming. I'm gonna show you this isn't a dream. That's exactly what a demon in my dreams would say. He laughed a bit. Well, if that's what you believe, be my guest. Or maybe I'm hallucinating. She laughed again. You're really freaking stupid, huh? I ignored him and laid back down. I'm sure this had to be a dream, right? I closed my eyes again. I guess I'll just find out in the morning. Day two to be continued. God damn. This is a, just a demo. So unfortunately that is it for right now. Um, I don't have a mouse, so let me try and go to the about section. So this game is a deal with the devil. This is just a demo, like I said, only day one for right now, but I'm assuming when the game is fully released, there will be, um, other like options in terms of like the endings, there'll be like multiple endings. But, um, yeah, that's it for right now. So if y'all are curious about this game, y'all want to try it for yourselves, of course, everything will be in the um, description below. If not, you just enjoyed the video, then awesome. If not, then sorry if you didn't enjoy it. But um, I'm going to end it here. So hopefully y'all had a good day. Go yesterday and better tomorrow. And I will catch y'all in the next video.